One. You are watching Sipping Off the Cuff on TequilaAficionado.com. I'm Alex Perez, and I am, you are. I am, I, am, I am Mike Morales here in San Antonio. Mike Morales. We are <laughs> back with Karma Tequila. We love the Blanco. Oh, Blanco is, is this still the same? It's still a blend of double and triple distilled tequila. Yes, and it says it right on the bottle. Yep, and the best part, one of the best parts is kosher. See? It's kosher. It's kosher. So when you ask whether your karma is kosher, say yes. This is good karma. How long did they say that this, this was aged, Alex, the ripple? So this is aged, um, was 364 days in American oak bourbon barrels. Not one day over. Wow. One They pull it one day before it has to be called an añejo. Exactly. Wow. Holy cat. Why do I get the feeling I'm going to really like this one? I think I'm going to really like this one too. But it's got a light, like a light, real light straw color. So it's a used bourbon barrel is what I'm, I'm guessing, right? Because it's not telling us, I don't think. Well, it's got to be used. Yeah, because Kentucky. Oh yeah. It's not. It wouldn't be called Kentucky. Well, you know, sometimes one one pass through, one use or something. But all right. Pale straw color. Ooh, ooh. It's kind oh, of nice. My. Nice. <sighs> Fragrant nose, huh? Yeah, this is more like it. Your your that 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 nose from the barrel just comes up to meet you. I can get uh I'm getting some old, like old spice or some spiciness in there. Some nuttiness. Wow. Nice. But it's beautiful, fragrant nose. Yeah. It's got that old, that old fashioned kind of, you know. Yeah, it's not, it's not, um, it's not citrusy. It's more of a, of a uh, nutty raisin, maybe. It's a it's a dry <laughs> nose, Alex. It's it's that a, is a dry it's a dry nose. Mm. 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 Uh, I didn't want to let that one go. <laughs> yeah, normally we spit out the first one. Um, that is wow. very good. What a great mouthfeel! It just lays down on your on your uh, tongue. Mm. I can get the vanilla or, or yeah, the vanilla notes. Almost like a light caramel. Mm -hmm. um, is this? It, 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 am I correct in assuming this is going in sweet and coming and coming out dry? Correct, it's dry at the at, at, the, so, ta at yeah. the back end. Okay, then that's. You're indicative of your bourbon, I think. Um, whiskeys are kind of the other direction. But this is just a delightful nose. You it's can funny. smell the char, Alex. I mean, what we're getting is some really good char notes, I think. I think so, too. It's got to see the notes. Um, say perfectly balanced car caramel finish. I do get some of the caramel. It is it is very smooth. Well, that's the the double and triple distillation. I think yeah. I I think that's the um, that's the key. And it's not too sweet. I think it's just right. It's just the right balance with the because um, I'm getting a little the to me the little dryness or saltiness at the mm -hmm. end, mm -hmm. or the brininess, if you will. The brininess, yeah, yeah. Oh, this wow. is so well done, Alex. Wow, I think you hit the nail right on the head. It's balanced. 
I mean, just by virtue of, of that, you can tell, you know, the, 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 the medals that they've gotten, platinum, gold, silver, you know, there, there hasn't been one competition that they've <laughs> entered that they, that they haven't scored, you know, that, that they haven't won or showed. If for those of you who, who like to play the ponies, they're only the win, they, <laughs> you know, what, win, place, or show, they're usually win and place. And uh, this, this is, is very good. It's dynamic, though, Alex. I mean, there's, it's, it's not tough. just, it's not just, um, there's a lot happening there. There's a lot of layers. It's a lot of layers. And and I think the the fact that they that they rested it one day before they could call it an añejo um, really made a big difference. I think, you know, because this is richer and hardier than some of the other reposados that we have had in the past. Or even so añejos. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, you know, you're one day from an añejo, so so yeah, you know. Uh, well. Uh, you, you, you're tech, on a technicality. This is this is a reposado, but you know, it, it could very easily. If you had your eyes closed, if this were a, a blind taste, you, I've had. You know, I, I've judged it at. Uh, you know, we did the blind judging for the Monterey Bay Tequila and Cuisine, and there, are, there are añejos that don't taste like this. So, you know, you go go figure. This yeah. is again, I, I think, Alex, another brand of promise. In 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 the in the legacy category for karma, the guys, you know, if you haven't seen our our Blanco uh, taping, these guys are three owners. Really, they 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 work hard, they play hard, and and Gary Eisenberger, who's the the, the main person that we we contact, um, does so much. Karma does so much for for charities in general that um, they really live up to their name. You know, karma. Uh, it, it sounds kooky. It sounds funny, but honestly, they really live up to that to that name. And I think I think as a as a legacy category because they've been, they've been around close to ten years, I think, if not exactly ten years. And um, they're really just coming into their own, you know, right now. And it's fun to watch these guys. If if you know who they are, you can follow Karma on Facebook, follow them on their Twitter account. Um, you can look for Gary Eisenberger on his Facebook page, and he's just, he's everywhere. I mean, these guys still work every account. Uh, you can find them in, in Costco. You can find them at Total Wines. You know, their price points are, are right where they need to be. Um, can't say enough about these guys. They're, they're, you know, plus they have this really cool house in Cabo that, <laughs> that, <laughs> That maybe, maybe you know, we can go someday. maybe we could go someday and and film and interview these guys together. You know, at the at the the, the Cabo Mansion, the the Karma Cabo House. I don't know. I, they, they call it's it something. A, a pleasure. It's a reposado. That's so, it's a pleasure to taste. Oh. Like it really Great. is a beautiful tequila. Uh, so Gnome eleven. Yes, Gnome right eleven oh seven. Yeah. Uh, pack yeah, packaging, for sure. It's got great packaging, beautiful. Yeah, the the leather the leather strap here comes off. You can wear it as a uh, a bracelet or a necklace. It actually it, you unwind it and it's it's a full leather full leather cord, not the not pleather. <laughs> it's leather. Um, this is a great this. You know what can I say? It's a great company. It's a great bunch of guys. Um, Go out and get yourself some karma. You know, uh, great for the holidays, great for sipping, uh, great in a cocktail. I think I think this this being such a strong reposado, Alex, would probably be great in a cocktail. So I agree. I agree. I can't wait to taste the añejo. Here we go. I'm Mike Morales in Texas. <laughs> Thanks for our next show. I'm Alex Perez, and you've been watching Sipping Off the Cuff on TequilaAficionado.com. Uh, we've been uh, talking about karma. Get yourself some. And like we say, as always, sip wisely. <laughs>